Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about the gross cortical anatomy of the brain. So we're going to be looking at the brain from its lateral aspect. So I'll just draw it up here. There are two ways of looking at the brain. One is its gross anatomy, which is just the anatomy as we see it. And the other is looking at it functionally. So splitting up the brain into its functional parts. Here we're going to look at just the gross anatomy. And in the next video, we'll look at the functional anatomy and how it relates. So here we have the central sulcus. And this is a very important sulcus in the brain. In front of it, we have the precentral gyrus. At this point, I should say that the sulcus or the sulci are the valleys. The raised parts or the hills we call the gyri or gyrus singular. So here we have the post-central gyrus. Here is the superior frontal gyrus. Below that is the middle frontal gyrus. And down here is the inferior frontal gyrus. Now this big line here separates the temporal lobe from the rest of the brain, and we call this the lateral sulcus, also known as the sylvian fissure. Here is the superior temporal gyrus. Below it is the middle temporal gyrus. And below that is the inferior temporal gyrus. So the frontal lobe and the temporal lobe are quite easy. Up here, we have the superior parietal lobule. And below it, we have the inferior parietal lobule. Down here we have the pars orbitalis, and here is called the pars triangularis, and here is the pars opercularis. These are named pars orbitalis because it's the part above the orbit, the pars triangularis, which is the triangular part, and the pars opercularis, which means a lid. And it's called the lid because underneath it is the insular cortex. Now over here is a supramarginal gyrus. And then around here is the angular gyrus. Now let's name some sulci. Here is the parieto occipital fissure. And this separates the parietal lobe from the occipital lobe. And this is the occipital notch. It does the same, but inferiorly. Here is the transoccipital sulcus. And here is the lateral occipital sulcus. Here is the precentral sulcus. And behind the central sulcus is the post-central sulcus. Now, in the front, we have the superior frontal sulcus and the inferior frontal sulcus. And these separate the three gyri of the frontal lobe.
Down here is the superior temporal sulcus and the middle temporal sulcus. There's also an inferior temporal sulcus, but that can be seen from the other side of the brain. We'll have a look at that in a later video. And that's an overview of the gross cortical anatomy of the brain. For more free tutorials and the PDF for this tutorial, visit www.handwrittentutorials.com.